You know, this is one of those stories that I saw and I wanted to react to it on video but never had the chance to, but now I'm taking the time to talk about this because this is a damn good story. So a massively influential far-right figure named Ali Alexander, seen here with Donald Trump, who helped organize the Stop the Steal rally with the help of Republican members of Congress like Paul Gosar, Andy Biggs, and Mo Brooks, is alleging that he can time travel. Yes, you heard that correctly. He contends seriously that he has the ability to, to time travel. Now, this is seemingly an innocuous thing to say, right? It's not really that problematic. It's goofy, but there's nothing really harmful about this. Well, you'd be surprised, or maybe you won't be surprised to learn that he found a way to shoehorn in anti-Semitism to his conversation with his audience where he tries to convince them that he can indeed time travel. Now, keep in mind, this was recorded before the election, so he also hints at other powers that he potentially has here. And I've got to say, I'm just I, I'm just impressed by this. Let's watch. Even if Kerry was going to lose, I would will it into existence. And I know that sounds kooky. And I know that sounds crazy. But Just don't catch me on a wild day. Pete Davidson one time got on my bad side and almost killed himself. So, you're not going to believe me. It doesn't matter. The, the point is, is that no one needs to believe you the first time. The point is, you just need to tell them a the first time. Do you understand this? This is going to sound kooky for y'all and cozy, but... You guys don't understand the esoteric. What if I told you that all of us are capable of traveling? Well, not all of us, because you're not smart enough. But what if I told you that there are a lot of people capable of time traveling? They just don't know it. What if I told you that time traveling is easier than you think? Uh, it requires a lot of discipline and no machines. What if I told you that the reason why the New World Order wants you to focus on fiction stories about machines is they don't want you to know that everyone has access to time travel? Then what if I told you that the, re the way that those of us fight is we are each pulling from time itself Yes, of course the Jews time travel. That's what makes the apostasy so great. So what if I told you... <laughs> what if I told you... That... I could prove that I've time traveled before. I'd say do it, bitch. Prove it. Prove to the world that you actually can time travel. Do it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm drawn to these dumbass stories so much, but the goofier the thing that the right-wing pundit says is, the more that I chomp at the bit to talk about this. Um, I just... There's, there's so much there. So l let's begin to unpack this by, first of all, explaining how he lumped in, oh, of course Jews can time travel because of course you try to find some way to demonize Jewish people that, you know, they, they're extra human. They have powers that we don't have, which makes them a threat. That's at least the implication here. But he also says that he had the power to will Carrie Lake's victory into existence. Mm, turns out that didn't work. Maybe he didn't choose to do that though. But also he said that, uh, he almost, <laughs> he almost made Pete Davidson kill himself. That was you? <laughs> so, I mean, if you're being honest there, should we try you for attempted murder? I, I just, I, I'm trying to figure out where does this logic stop, right? If you think that you can time travel, now learning that you thought that the 2020 election was stolen is totally not surprising to me at all. In fact, that's probably one of the more dare I say normal thoughts that you had because at least the prospect of the 2020 election being stolen, even if it was not stolen, but the prospect of it being stolen is at least something that is possible within the laws of physics, within 
our empirical world. But time traveling, however, is something that is impossible, at least currently, because we're limited by technology. But I don't even know if he's suggesting that he has like a time machine. I think that maybe he's saying that he himself can maybe like snap his fingers or fart and jump through a different time period. But if that's the case, then how do you choose which era you're going to, right? So on a time machine, you'd select, okay, I want to go to 1940, 1950, um, probably want to go further ahead in time. Actually, no, not because of climate change, but like the, the further back you go, the more racist and homophobic it gets, but the further ahead in time you go, the more likelihood that the world ends due to catastro catastrophic anthropogenic climate change. So I don't know where you'd want to go. Like I'm probably fine just like in the present currently, but like, let's say hypothetically speaking, you want to jump to the year 2023 or 2024, just peek at who won the 2024 presidential election. How do you do that? Is there like a dial or if you're not using a machine, do you just think and you, you wish it, you say 2024, 2024. Like, how does this work? Like, I, I'm, I'm humoring him, right? But folks, these are individuals, people who claim things like this. There are other QAnon influencers, and I don't know if he's QAnon to be clear, but there are other uh, influencers within the QAnon world that make similar claims. But I just want to know, like, at what point, as far gone as your audience may be, do they think, mm, maybe this person is dishonest? Like, does this not turn everyone off? Like, if, okay, if I came to my audience, and I get that you're all much smarter than the average right-wing viewer that they get, but if I came to my audience and I said, listen, folks, I'm going to blow your minds. I can fly. None of you would believe me. But if I actually earnestly try to convince you that I could fly, I think that all of you would abandon me, rightfully so, because you'd realize that I am full of shit. I'm effectively so... Uh, I'm so, I'm such a dishonest actor that I'm lying to you about the dumbest thing imaginable. Like, nothing I say would ever be uh, taken seriously again. But folks like Ali Alexander, I mean, he, he can say things like this, and I guess he still has an audience. I mean, look at the things that Alex Jones has said, to be clear. He literally said that there are fish people. <laughs> And he saw the fish people, and he explained this crying, by the way. You can Google Alex Jones uh, fish people, if you don't believe me. And he was describing how he saw fish people. They were tapping on the glass. And they were saying, help me. They were like government experiments or something, according to him. And his audience is just like, yeah, this is perfectly plausible. Like, when I say that we're drifting further into... Um, different realities where the right kind of lives in their own world and everyone else is in reality. This is what I mean, but these are the people who are driving this separation between our reality, which is the empirical world that we all live in, what we can see in front of us, and the right-wing world, molded by people like Donald Trump and, uh, and this. But having said all of that, though, I'll be honest, I'd rather them talk about things like this and pretend to have superpowers than spread conspiracy theories, lie about vaccines, lie about the election, even if, you know, this is more detached from reality. I think it's less harmful than the other things that they say, if you exclude the uh, anti-Semitism that he had to shoehorn in there. But either way, this is not a substantive topic. I think that when there are so many dumb news stories, or I should say, when there are so many negative news stories, the dumb ones, I think that if we can get a little bit of an enjoyment and entertainment out of them, we shouldn't beat ourselves up for that. So this is one of those junk food stories where it's not necessarily substantive, but boy, do I enjoy talking about it. So yeah, there you have it. The Stop the Steal founder who has collaborated with multiple members of Congress who has access to powerful people is seriously contending that he can time travel. All right, you know what? Teach me, King. I'm not even mad. Teach me. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas.